Hi, my name's Andy from Technology Core, and the purpose of this short video is to give you an introduction to WizTeach, the annotation software tools that come with any piece of hardware that Technology Core does. Um, so this, this, this video will take you through some of the features, um, not in great depth. If you really want to see certain parts of the toolbar, do go to our tutorials part on our website, and uh, you can really dig in and learn how some of this works. So this is just a bit of an overview. So the first thing about WizTeach to show you here, which is in the, the top right hand corner of our screen here, um, WizTeach is a set of floating tools that's been built to completely work over the top of any other content that you might have on your laptop. Um, so many of our end users were having to build different software pieces and collect lessons, sessions, slides and put them into different areas of content, notebooks and things like that to, to be able to present back. What WizTeach gives us is a really simple solution that works over the top of anything you've already got on your computer. So to give you a, an idea of how that works, if we open up Google, um, we've got our WizTeach tools here in which I'm going to grab the annotation tool and turn it into blue. And um, I'm just going to show you it working alongside Google. Okay? I can add annotation to this and I can capture it. I capture it just by hitting this button here. Okay, great. That's us working in Google and capturing that lesson here as a slide. Um, then if we want to say we've got some content in, let's say, Excel, open up Excel. Again, the WizTeach tools stay wherever I've put them up here. And uh, I can grab the same pen and I can work in exactly the same way in this different environment. So this is the key fundamental value of WizTeach. It gives you the tools consistently the same over the top of any content that you have here. And you can very quickly capture these as you go through and add them to sets of lessons as you go through. So it's a, it's a different way of approaching content. It's saying, okay, the tools will always be there for you to add notes, annotations, and add uh, data and content on top of content that you've already got. Um, really to hammer that point home, one of the best ways we like to show this is it working alongside things like videos. Um, if you've got a video that's moving, this is just a Windows file here. Um, you, these are some of the only tools that you can use live on the video. So it, it really doesn't matter where you are and what you're using, you can use this stuff over the top. So again, this is me just using that same tool we used in Excel and on the line, over the top of a video, we've paused it, we've stopped it, um, and we can add our detail here to help our lesson go along. So it's not necessarily about not being prepared, but just having content and being able to use the tools over the top is really, really important for being able to use it in a, in a slick kind of way. Um, you're not having to put in hours of preparation to use that. Within here, there's a whole ton of tools that you'd expect to see in any interactive whiteboard tool set. Things like the shade, um, spotlight, to go into different areas, this is great. Um, magnifying glass, highlighters, onboard keyboards, all those things that you'd expect to see in, in any interactive whiteboard annotation tools. Um, so that's the first point to make with WizTeach. It will work wherever you want to work. It's that time-saving thing we're really interested in. The next thing is, is some of the tools, the curriculum tools that are inbuilt within here to help open up other areas and give you some interactive um, tool sets just at your fingertips that you can open up here. So the main bulk of the to tools here are found here. Open this up, you've got maths, literacy, geography, you see it's split into different subject areas. So in here are pockets of tools that you can bring out to help assess and use alongside different areas of the curriculum you might be teaching. These are like little shortcuts, little apps that you have found within the software to help you out. Um, there's a whole ton of these, there's around about 85 all in all, and these are ever growing. Um, one of the first really useful tools is, is capture tools here. This gives you a really, really, really simple way of being able to invite video streams into your lesson. If you hit this camera here, for example, I can open up any camera that might be on my computer. At the moment, we've got a visualizer here that we can make go full screen. Uh, as that fills our screen, we might decide that we want to record the lesson rather than just take a snapshot. So at the moment, what we've been doing is taking snapshots of the session as we've gone through, which you've seen me do a couple of times. What we're going to do here is actually hit record here and record a session live. So this is one of the really useful features of WizTeach. Again, really simple. Get the content up that you want to use. Put the, put the extra content on that you use as you organically go through your lesson and have WizTeach record the whole session as you go through. So what that means is when I press stop, I'm going to be offered the chance to save my lesson. I'll save it onto my desktop. So this complements the slides that I'm saving up already. I've now got a video recording, 
of exactly what we did in my session. So really, really easy. Again, really complimentary way of being able to use something like a PDF under a visualizer alongside the WizTeach tools, the ability to snapshot, the ability to record, and just being able to reflect on everything you can do within WizTeach. It's that ease of, ease of use nature that we're really kind of hammering home. So one thing we can do here is we can put a background on if we're not working on a desktop or another piece of content. Um, I might want to change my background to something a little bit more visual, a piece of crumpled paper like this. Um, I'll just give you a quick indication, quick flavour of some of the curriculum tools that are on offer in here. Some of these are really, really, really clever and really do help to uh, uh, help teachers teach some of these areas interactively and more importantly get students up here interacting with the board as well. So I'll show you a couple of examples in here. Like I say, we won't go into too much depth here. The curriculum tutorials are online in the, in the, uh, on our YouTube channel. They go into these in a lot of depth. But if we open up maths here and just show you numbers, for example, you'll get a number tool set given to you. Um, and within here, there's a whole ton of tools. So we've got numbers, um, we've got operations. Each of these tools can be enlarged or shrunk down to be whatever size you want. The idea behind this is to make them nice and big if you're teaching younger students, so that's very big and tangible, and they can come up here and they can bring out some of these numbers and investigate place value, for example. Um, so th these, these uh, objects aren't just flash objects that sit on the board to be moved around. They'll actually interact with each other. For example, if I show a multiplication operation next to our 5,778, stick a 6 on the end and it equals, we've now got a dynamic equation that will solve itself. You can bring that answer out, you can pull it apart. Like I say, with the tangi tangi tangible interoperability of these tools, they'll all kind of work in together. If I want to replace the 6 with a 4006, you can chuck that in there and change the sum immediately. Again, there's more detail of, on this as we, uh, on our other areas, on our tutorial areas, but hopefully this gives you a bit of a flavour. Um, give you one other example of our curriculum tools, I'll bring out, let's delve into geography. Okay. If I bring out the Google Map tool, this is going to give me a really simple Google Map. Okay, you can then do things like grab the pen. We'll turn the pen into a text recognition just by clicking that button there. We'll very quickly scribble up a city that we're interested in investigating a little further. And by using the text recognition tool, that uh, piece of ink will turn into a piece of text for us. Great way of testing students' handwriting. We can take that text box, drop it into the map, and the map will be clever enough to find where Melbourne is. Over and above, again, tools being interoperable, we can chuck in the weather bug. It's going to find uh, an area of Melbourne, it's found Tullamarine, and it's going to start giving us different information about that area live from Google. So at, the mo at this moment in time, it's 25.3 degrees out there, and the sun rose at sunset at certain times. We can have a look at the wind, the rain, it's a whole ton of different things we can look at within here. So the purpose of that really is not to show you every curriculum tool. We've got uh, videos that already catered that, but just give you a bit of a flavour about how these tools work. They're not just static tools and imagery to bring out. There's a whole ton of curriculum tools in there to get looking at. So there's a quick overview of WizTeach. Like I say, it comes with any of uh, Technology Core's uh, interactive hardware, the screens, the boards. We're using it on the HDI board, as you can see here. Um, the most important thing is it will work and complement any piece of content you have on your computer and then delving into some of those clever curriculum tools that we haven't yet seen on the market um, is, is where it's going and, and how it's building from. So um, thank you very much for having a look. Uh, download the free trial from technologycore.com.au and good luck with that. Cheers.